everyone welcome to my channel in this video we will going to learn about reaction turbine introduction to reaction turbine from windmills to hydropower plants we have reaction turbines all over the world to generate electricity efficiently almost 60% of turbines used in hydropower plant are reaction turbines unlike impulse turbine they remain dipped in water and use the pressure energy of water to generate power the idea of dipping the whole turbine into water came from germany in mid 12th century the basic thinking was that we can use the weight of water to turn the turbine blades more efficiently compared to water the striking the water wheels base but it took a time to build an efficiently working reaction turbine which was built in mid 18th century by the inventor of modern hydraulic turbines since then we are putting in our effort to further improve our designs to make them more and more efficient so let's just figure it out what we have in modern reaction turbines working principle of reaction turbine the working of reaction turbines can be well understand by taking a rotor having moving nozzles and water of high pressure is coming out of the nozzle as the water leaves the nozzle a reaction force is experienced by the nozzle this reaction force rotates the rotor at very high speed in the same way in reaction turbines a reaction force is generated by the fluid moving on the runner blades the reaction force produced on the runner blades makes the runner to rotate fluid after moving over the runner blades enter into the draft tube and finally to the tail race components of reaction turbine spiral casing it is a spiral casing which uniformly decreasing cross sectional area along with circumference its decreasing cross sectional area makes sure that we have a uniform velocity of water striking the runner blades as we have opening for water flow into the runner blades from the very starting of the casing so pressure would decrease at as it travels along the casing so we reduce its cross sectional area along its circumference to make pressure uniform thus uniform momentum or velocity striking the runner blades guide vanes this component of reaction turbine attached to the spiral casing the most important function of guide vanes is to ensure that the water hitting the impeller blades must be in the direction of turbine axis otherwise the water will create a strong vortex as it passes through the volute casing due to this reason the impeller blades will be in efficient to rotate with the latest turbine the angle of these vanes are flexible according to turbine load the flow of water can adjusted by changing the angle of these guide vanes runner blades the runner blades are said to be the heart of reaction turbine it is the shape of runner blades which uses the pressure energy of water to run the turbine their design plays a major role in deciding the efficiency of a turbine in modern turbines these blades can pitch about these axes thus can vary the pressure force acting on them according to the load and available pressure runner water from penstock draft tube connect the runner exist to the tail race its cross section area increases along its length as the water coming out of the runner blades is at considerable low pressure so its expanding cross section area help it to recover the pressure as it flow towards the tail race working of reaction turbine if an impulse turbine is a bit like kicking a soccer ball then 
the reaction turbine is more like swimming in reverse. Let me explain. Think of how do you freestyle front crawl by howling your arms throughout the water, starting with each hand as far in front as you can reach and the ending with a flow through that throw your arms well behind you. What are you trying to achieve is to keep your hands and forearms pushing against the water for as long as possible so you can transfer as much energy as you can in each stroke. A reaction turbine is using the same idea in reverse. Imagine fast flowing water moving past you so it makes your arms and legs move and supply energy to your body. With the reaction turbine, you want the water to touch the blade smoothly for as long as it can. So it gives up as much energy as possible. Let's see it in technical terms. Low head and high velocity water enters the spiral casing. And as it enters this casing, it starts flowing through guide veins into the runner blades. Guide veins guides the flow of water to strike the runner blades at a proper angle to produce maximum power output. The water flowing through spiral casing is able to keep its pressure energy consistently throughout the circumference of the spiral casing due to its uniformly decreasing cross section area. These guide veins can change their angle to increase or decrease the flow rate of water into the turbine and the runner blades are also made adjustable as when the flow of water is fast and energy demand is less then they would pitch themselves to inclined at a smaller angle with the axis of a turbine and when the load on turbine is more and flow of water is less then would adjust themselves at a greater angle with the axis of turbine. Two factors which determine the efficiency of reaction turbines are angle of attack of water when it strikes the runner blades and the profile of runner blades over which water glitch. Due to the adjustable of both the guide veins and the runner blades, we are now able to use this turbine over a wide range of water potential and load demand. Water coming out after striking the runner blades is at a really low pressure so it passes through a draft tube with uniformly increasing cross section area to recover its pressure as it reaches the tail rest. Types of reaction turbine Francis turbine This type of reaction turbines is basically an improved version of propeller turbine with the water flowing radially and axially into the runner. In the middle section of Francis turbine, the flow section generally set in spiral housing with intentional adjustable influence blades. Kaplan turbine Kaplan turbines can achieve high efficiency levels under various load conditions by properly adjusting the blades during their working. Kaplan turbines allow you to adjust the blade angle on the impeller according to the required power. This allows the Kaplan turbine to work according to the load changes. This is the only reason why Kaplan turbines have full load efficiency and high part load. Advantages of Reaction Turbine It has high hydraulic efficiency. This requires less space. The reaction turbines use oil-free exhaust system. It has a small size. It has a high capacity to use high temperature and high pressure. This type of turbine has a high working speed. It is easy to construct. The blades has a higher efficiency than an impulse turbine. Disadvantages of reaction turbine 
this type of turbine generate thrust force it confronts the problem of cavity it does not have symmetrical blades these turbines required high maintenance than impulse turbine higher maintenance cost are required application of reaction turbine reaction turbine is used in wind power mills to generate electricity it is most widely used turbine in hydropower plants to generate electricity it is only turbine to get maximum power output from a low available water head and high velocity other than cross flow turbine which not that efficient